Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a four kids at one four seven, and it's time to move on um, to another section of my spare diamonds and making it pretty. Um, so I think we're finally going to get to the end of the first sheet today, which is progress. Um, I did pop in just in the sort of end here while they're all moving over a bit. I did just pop some of the bags that I'm using um, to sort of revamp the storage. Um, I did pop them in there just to help those diamonds stay up in the meantime. But we're on to the 700s. I think we get all the way up to the, yeah, we do. We get all the way up to the end of the 800s today. So we'll see how much we can get this to move over. Now, before I do sort of start on this box, while I am going to finish this sheet today, I do want to just label up the five 200s which um, are at the beginning of the sticker sheet because the DMC number is B5200, so I've just always personally kept it at the front. However, um, a lot of the companies that you know do diamond paintings will put it at the end. So I found, even though I kept it in the beginning of the first box, I would be forever having to go back because the, the order I'd kitted up, one of my kits, was the same order that the seller sent them. So the B5200 would always be at the back and I'd completely forget. So I have moved them to my last box. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the labels on, a bag for rounds, rounds and a bag for squares. Um, and I'm just going to pop them to the side. I will just bob them in that box later um, so that they're there and ready. But while we're very nearly at the end of this sheet, I do want to finish the sheet um, and be able to class it as done. So first one we've got is 793, of which at the moment I have rounds. I may have squares, but my heaven and earth design diamonds are separate. So for now, I only have rounds in my spares but I am creating bags for each and every colour because I don't want a sticker sheet that's half got stickers on it and half not. I'll end up losing the sticker sheet knowing my look so I would much rather have a bag for each even if one's empty and we'll pop that one in there and then 794 so let's get two more bags and all I'm doing on this is this spare storage I've now had probably three years I think without actually check checking um, I think I've had it about three years now and it works absolutely perfect for what I need it for any changes that I've done to this storage have either been um, to make it so that I have less bags of spares, which initially started with me, you know, combining and, and not keeping, you know, the, the baggies that they come in. I used to keep those separate. I don't anymore. Um, I used to keep some manufacturers separate. I don't do that anymore. So a lot of the revamps that I've done have just been tweaking it as I've got more and more diamonds. The other thing that I've done is made it pretty. Over the last few years, any revamps that I've done have primarily just been to make it a lot prettier. Uh, one of the revamps involved putting these label stickers on. So these ones on the cards, just to, you know, announce which DMC it is. Oh, I've got a diamond that's not in the bag. Get in the bag before I shut it. Um, so yeah, that was one of my revamps. One, This revamp now is a matter of 
doing a bit of both. So I am reducing the amount of diamonds that I'm storing because I do believe there is a limit to how many spares one person can really need. And the second is to make it prettier. So all my bags did just have a written label. So it was on a round sticker if it was round diamonds and it was on a square sticker if it was square diamonds. Um, so this revamp is making it pretty with my little label stickers for round and for square. Round for round still and still square for square. So 797 is now extremely pretty. But what I'm also doing is I am changing the bags. I was gifted these thicker grip seal bags um, by Diana. And I am changing um, the bags to the thicker ones. They are a little bit thinner than my original by, um, I think it's about a quarter of an inch thinner. So they do fit a little bit less diamonds in. But because of the thickness, I find that they do stand up a lot nicer as well. They don't all, all the diamonds don't congeal in the bottom, which means I can get away with a bit more space. So that's one of the things I'm doing. Um, but also what I am doing is once I'm going to have one bag of each, in fact, we'll find out now on 799. You can see here I already have three different bags for 799. I have a bag that contains a couple of squares by the looks of it and I have a bag of rounds and they're all very full but what I'm going to limit it to is one bag per colour. Once that is full anything extra is going to go in a separate box which I'll deal with when I've finished making this pretty and it's going to be for um, giving away to people that need diamonds. So there are many Facebook groups um, I know there is a UK one it's called Got Diamonds UK and if anybody is short of a colour on their diamond painting they can ask in that group and then people post out any that they have. So here we go. I've pretty much filled this bag. I could probably fit a few more in it, but I think that time will come when I'm de-kitting. But it's pretty full on its own, so you can squeeze a few more in. Um, that bag is pretty full. That is all that I'm going to put into my spare storage. I think that is plenty if I should ever run out. And these two bags are going to go into um, my what will be spare diamonds to give away box, which will get figured out when this is done. I may end up just labelling them up again. Um, I'm not going to use the posher bags. I'm probably just going to keep the standard written stickers though I'm not sure yet. Um, I may use it as an opportunity to, to use some other stickers and just and just make things pretty, pretty. Um, I'm gonna deal with that bag or that box when I've done all of this. But for now, they're gonna go for giving away. And what I'll do is once it's all done, is, you know, every now and then, maybe each weekend or just, just a time when I think, okay, yeah, I'm due to send some diamonds out. I will have a look on the group and see if anybody needs any. Or maybe if I spot the post come up on my newsfeed, I'll be able to check my spares box, which will truly be spares to give away box. Um, and I'll see if anybody needs any. And then I'll just bob them in the post box and send them on their merry little way and spread the love, as we say. Um, I do have some spares that I am using for a heaven and earth design. And I am doing a, so I'm doing currently 
two cross stitch patterns as a diamond painting. They've been a little bit by the wayside at the moment, but that's just because I'm also doing some comparison paintings, which have sort of taken the priority spot from my heavy note designs. Um, but my plan is probably not to do any more of those because I think the two that I've done is sort of enough. I want to look into other things I can do with spare diamonds. But we never know. If I do decide that I'm going to do another Heaven and Earth Designs, then I'll, I'll remove that diamond colour from my giveaway box and just start saving them that way. Or I can always buy some replacement diamonds. But I think I do just need to limit myself on how many I have. That's the only thing now that sort of got me with my spare storage and sort of could you say got on my nerves a little bit is is how many I actually have and and limiting myself to how many I may actually need and I don't want to get rid of my spare storage I do think I've come close enough to not having enough diamonds on enough occasions um, I've not run out a huge amount but I have run out on a couple of paintings and if it were to happen again, I, I would be mortified. I wouldn't want to wait to finish a painting. I wouldn't want to, you know, you can put an order in. There are places that sell them separate, but I'm impatient. I wouldn't want a diamond painting sat there waiting for spare diamonds to arrive. Oh, we're having static fun with 803. So, yeah. Plus, it's pretty. I like to keep my squares. Okay, so we are sliding a little bit at the moment because this isn't anywhere near full. Let's take out a few. Okay, 806, I don't have any diamonds for. So I am still going to label up my bags. I think it helps the... The, the little cards to stand up a little bit nicer if it's got something in between it it's a little bit easier to see if you've seen any of my recent de-kittings I have of course been de-kitting with my storage partly done and I much prefer putting away my spare diamonds with my revamped storage compared to my not revamped storage. It's the little things that make me smile. Static heaven in this one. You can, if you do suffer with static a lot, you can put a little bit of a tumble dryer sheet in with your bags. But I don't have any in at the moment. I keep forgetting to sort of ask the kids to pick some up when they do the shopping so we're just going to fight with the static and they can just sit there and calm themselves down is what they can do um, oh we've got 809 here two completely different colours oh in fact this one is already in one of the new bags let's see if I can get this sticker off without fighting with it There we go. I've not paid attention to that, have I? Because that's the whole reason that I was originally pulling these out before making up these bags. Okay, so 809 must have been one that I de kit from a painting when I first got these bags from Diana before I decided to do a complete revamp. So I'd already used a few. But that's fine. I've changed it to a nice pretty sticker and it will remind me to pay attention for the next one. So 813. Again, two different shades of blue in this. Um, some people prefer to have separate bags when they do get two different colours. 
obviously from two different sellers, two different time frames. Well, might not have even been two different sellers, could have just been purely two different time frames. Could have been either. Um, and I know some people do prefer to keep them separate. I just put them all in together. The reason being is if a painting does happen to run out and I need some, spare, some spares for it, I need to use some, then I will just tip the, that batch of diamonds into a big tray and pick the one that is the closest match to the one I've run out of. And I'll just replace them that way. So I'm going to tip them in a tray to actually use them anyway. So I'll just fish out which one I prefer, bob it on the painting and throw the rest back in the bag. To me, that is much better than having multiple bags. I've done the multiple bags and it got a little bit OTT. I had far too many diamonds to deal with. Okay, and see, here we go. I've picked up this thinking it was just the card for 817 and actually 815 and 816 I don't have any diamonds for. But because there is nothing in between the cards, it's hard to sort of read that. So 815 can go in. 816, oh, we're nearly at the end of the sheet. 816 can go in. And that now allows those two when they're pushed up, they do slide a little bit, but now I actually got a little gap between them, which means I can find them and read them. 817. Now I do have a lot of round diamonds. Um, I do also have a lot of square, to be fair. However, my heaven and earth design does take a lot of my square diamonds up. Um, a lot of them are used in that. And whether the painting needs 10 or 10,000 of them, um, I keep them all with my heaven and earth design painting, no matter how many I have, until I don't need that colour anymore. And when it comes to the point that I no longer need the colour, that's the time that I will put it back into my spare storage with all the rest. So those bags at the moment are a complete mess. Um, there are bags galore in that one. Okay, so 818 in square. I'm actually working on a painting that has these now. So if that painting were to run out, I've got two different shades to choose from um, to, de to determine which one is the best fit. Let's pull out another chunk. 819. And I'm pretty sure this one is in my Heaven and Earth designs, which is why I don't have any squares in here. But I do have my rounds. And that has about three or four shades in it as well. It's a bit like sand art. It's like there's a little layer. Sometimes they do get mixed because, of course, I am transferring them from one bag to another. But you can often see a faint little layer as I've added the diamonds from different paintings. I find it funny anyway. Okay, 820. And don't forget this stretch goes all the way up to 899. So I do think I must have a few more that I don't have any diamonds for. Because that's quite compact and there's still quite a few numbers to go. So 820 in round. Oh, and I do thank the lady. I can't remember the name. Sorry, I was going to look it up. I think it begins with an N, but it might not. Um, who advised me last week, very eagle-eyed, I did manage to put 
squares in a round bag or rounds in a square bag. I can't remember which way round it was. Um, but thank you so much for pointing it out to me. I have fixed that. I have made that right. Oh, look, 822. How many different colours do you think we can have? Again, they're all still going into one bag. Quick battery change, but I thought we'll zoom in for a little bit just in case you're on a smaller screen and can't quite see what I'm doing. Um, at the moment, say so this is a bit of a longer process because I am tipping, you know, the diamonds from one bag to another. Um, that is because I'm changing the bag as well as changing my sticker. If you haven't set up any type of spare storage yet, um, I do highly recommend this, this system um, and that's not just the voice of me, that is the voice of many who use it. Um, there are other systems out there to use. Um, I originally started with the binder system um, where you have a binder with baseball card holders in them. That's what I initially started with. But I soon found that it was not going to hold um, hold the diamonds. It wasn't going to grow with me. Um, I did all oh, that's full. Um, I did also find that um, because you you don't get all colours when you initially start. I did find that like a corner of my binder ended up being fuller than somewhere else. It just didn't sit right. Okay, so we are going to end up with some 823 spare. I was going to keep going to sort of fill it up, but I'm sure if I have a painting that I finish that only has, you know, 10 or 20 diamonds left, I'll be able to squeeze them in there. But otherwise, that is considered to be full. I've not quite filled up this row yet. So let's just grab another lot but we are nearly at the end of the first sheet there is 216 stickers on this sheet and we are finally getting near the end of the first one these stickers do come in on three sheets however the smallest the last sheet does only have uh, less than two rows on it so you have a load of spares for any other projects that you may be doing. Um, I use them to label up some of my storage pots for diamonds that, for diamond paintings that don't come with an inventory sheet for me to use. I use them for those. I also use them for labeling up my canvas. So I like to split my canvas into sections. Um, I use it to just number those sections, one, two, three, four, etc. And then I put um, those numbers into a decision maker app and it chooses which square I'm going to work on. But if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably will have seen me start. I started using these stickers, I think, when we created them. <laughs> and I've not stopped since. There are many, many uses for square and round stickers. So I will continue to use the ones that are left on the last sheet. Um, but for a set of these, you do get all three. So you get two full pages and a, and a sort of just less than two strips um, of all DMC numbers used in diamond painting. That includes some of the ones that have been discontinued in cross stitch by DMC, but I have found over the course of diamond painting um, that manufacturers for diamond painting have used them. Um, there may be the odd number in there that is not used, but seeing as all companies are different, I haven't been able to sort of eliminate any that way. Um, but it doesn't include the new DMC numbers that came out recently by DMC. 
um, because they're not used in, in diamond painting. The manufacturers for diamond painting now seem to have their list of numbers and that's just what they use. So there are 400, and, I want to say 453, I could be wrong, the website does say how many numbers there are. Um, but we do now have these sheets available in multiple colours. So the little the little tiny diamond, oh, will it focus? Focus. Uh, the little tiny diamond behind the DMC number does come in a few different colours. So let me see if I can remember them all. So we have the pink, um, we have yellow, grey, blue, green and purple. Um, if you do want to, you know, make the storage in your favourite colour, we do now have a few colours of those available. Um, we also have a few colours available for these cards as well, these stickers. Um, you can download the black and white for free. That is available in the store as a free download for you to print and cut yourself. Um, the colours are available in the store um, to either purchase as a full sheet. So that is on a full sticker sheet for you to cut out. Um, or you can get them pre-cut um, so that they're ready to peel off and stick. We also sell the card inserts and stuff as well, just in case you're interested. Um, there will be a link in the description below to the store if you do want to go and have a nosy. And we do ship worldwide um, and it is based on weight. And shipping is at cost um, with a very small packing charge on small orders. But bigger orders, it's purely shipping is cost. Uh, we feel it costs enough to ship stuff worldwide. There is no extra charges on that. Okay, 828 is done. And that is a full sheet of each. Empty! Oh, that makes me so happy. That is pure progress, though it does make me think we could still be here a while. Um, I have three boxes of DMC, um, of spare diamonds at the moment. I am hoping to get it down into three, into two, sorry though I don't know how successful I'm going to be on that front because I do have a lot of spares. Time will tell on that one. Um, we'll have to see how many sort of extra diamonds I do get to shift um, to see if I can free up a box. But... Oh, here we go. So we've got a couple here now that I've got no, I've got no diamonds for. So I'm guessing that there must be a few sort of sets that I don't have a lot of diamonds for because I'm on row five. Oh no, maybe I am in, I am in the middle-ish. Oh, maybe we have got a few more videos to go. And then there'll be a few more when I sort out my other spares. But people have asked for me to do videos of sorting out the spares. And I thought, you know what? That saves me getting a sort of bug for it. And sitting in front of the TV for four or five evenings um, while I revamped it all. By doing it as a video each week. It spreads out the process for me, doesn't make it as time consuming as well because I do get content out of it. So it's a win for both of us. But I do hope you enjoy the process. Um, oh, do keep an eye out as well for tomorrow's video. 
um, it is a new comparison that I'm starting and I'm quite excited to see how this one turns out. It's going to take a bit to see how it turns out, uh, but details of the comparison. Oh, that's 334. See again, I've got two cards that have stuck together. And I can't tell that they've stuck together because there's nothing in between them. Um, but yeah, the comparison tomorrow, I'm really quite excited about. It's going to be time consuming to do. <laughs> um, but I, I think it may be my last comparison in, in a short while, or definitely this half of the year. Um, I don't have any more in my head that I'm eager to do. But I do want to dedicate some time to my heaven and earth design, I think. And getting a bit more caught up with that. We do also have a June advent calendar style whip and chat. Um, in December, I do a advent calendar where we section off a canvas and each day we do a different section and I do a little whip and chat sort of a countdown to Christmas we do it from the 1st of December of course up until the 24th um, many people join doing their own paintings and stuff so for June People wanted one another point in the year and um, so decided June was a nice halfway mark to do a video a day that is purely a whip and chat. Um, so we have got that coming up as well. So do, do stick about. There is still stuff going on um, with comparisons. Weapon chats, spare stuff, there's always something going on. I can always make something about diamond painting. Um, it seems very easy to do. There's always something that can be kitted up or kitted down or unboxed. And new things seem to be coming out all the time for diamond painting. So it is really quite nice to see you know, the craft get get bigger and bigger. Okay, I think that row is pretty much full. I may do some shuffling along when everything's done, especially if it means that I'm likely to be able to fit things in two boxes instead of three. But for now, I think I'll class that row as done and we'll do the rest on this next one see how far we can get. Plus, I must say, doing this week on week is a lot easier than having to sort out taking the stickers off all these baggies that I've emptied. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot easier than messing about with, with all those stickers all at once. I sort of, I have to, I have to tidy up because it's another week before I'm doing some more. Stay. Okay, 841. We don't have any diamonds for that. So we'll label up the bags. But yeah, if you haven't started any sort of spare storage system yet, um, learn from the things that I've changed as I've gone along. That may help you, you know, adapt to very long term spare diamond storage. Um, or maybe you have more space than me. Maybe you still prefer to keep colours that are slightly different, separate. You know, some people will have um, a couple of boxes of these where they just store their rounds. And they'll have another box for just storing their squares. Do what works for you. Um, but setting up this system, you know, you can still do it as the basics. And it works. Um, it still works with whichever way you decide to do it. You know, I'm not changing these stickers and stuff because I have to. 
the storage still works for me. I'm changing it because I want to. Um, I want it to look pretty. It makes me smile when I'm de-kitting a kit. It makes that part of the process, the de-kitting part, more enjoyable. I enjoy kitting up and I enjoy kitting down. I enjoy kitting down more. Now I have now the storage is prettier, which is why I created the labels at all. Asked Megan to create the labels in the first place. Um, she created the design. My daughter filled the packets. Um, I sat there. I created the design for this. I have typed every single DMC number into that document more times than I care to imagine um, to ensure that it printed right and it looked right. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes it did involve retyping in all the numbers was easier than, than messing about with the placement that we had originally. There's, there's, been, there's been a lot of typing of DMC numbers. Um, but I've done it because um, having the storage this way with these stickers makes me smile, makes the hobby enjoyable. I enjoy the organising of the diamonds and the diamond paintings just as much as I enjoy placing the diamonds and creating the pictures. It's all part of the process for me. Um, could have made it easier on myself by just leaving as it is. I could have made it easier on myself by just throwing them all into a big tub. But this makes me happy. You do what makes you happy. If, if you don't like de-kitting, you don't like storing spares, then don't. But if you do happen to run out of a diamond um, due to it, then... You just will have to wait to get a replacement, either gifted from a Facebook group or bought from a store. Um, and that's the sort of way up. I know that I enjoy the storage and the organisation. I also know that if I were to have finished a diamond painting and ran out of a diamond, I am the impatient person that wouldn't want to wait for any to arrive, which is why I also save the diamonds because then hopefully um, provided I have the right number I won't have to wait which will make me doubly happy um, I have dipped into say these spares before I am doing a project purely using spares which means I bought the canvas but because it's a heaven and earth designs, to actually buy those diamonds would cost a pretty penny. And I didn't have to pay that pretty penny because I had diamonds already. Um, and it's a fun long-term project that's a little bit different, that has no place to go and is done purely for fun. Okay, eight, nine, two. Oh, I'm going through bags at a rate of knots. Which way round do we go? So these bags do have a long side and a short side, and that's what I just keep checking, whether I've got hold of the right side so that when I go to open the bags, it's easier. Um, these little bits of paper that I'm pulling out as well, they were, or are, baggy inserts. On these thinner bags especially, it may be that I need them on the big ones, we'll see. Um, it helps the bag to stay upright in the storage, otherwise I found it was folding, especially if there wasn't many diamonds in there. Um, if I only had a few like this, I would find that the, the bag would sag and quite often you know, I would be struggling to, to get into the storage to find the bag. Uh, but these ones are a lot thicker and they seem to stand up a lot better. 
I say we will see how it goes but for now I'm kind of hoping I don't need the baggy inserts if I do I do but I'm kind of hoping they'll just sit there pretty all on their own okay so we're nearly there we're at eight nine four and I think according to my sticker sheet we have three more colours to go after this and that row will have been completed and shortened quite a bit. We do only have so far well, three different colours that have come out but I have put baggies in for every single colour so that they're lined up and ready. Oh, 895. I don't have one for so we'll put in some empty bags for those 895 don't know why I said 894 or even if I did say 894 I don't quite know today it's getting warm under these lights now 898 I know that's a colour that comes up often so that one must be, I'm pretty sure it's in my heaven and earth design because it's a big image of a tree. So I do imagine there'll be a lot of brown and that's where my squares will be. Come on, last little diamond. Get in the bag. Quite a few spares, but they are a lot thinner than some of the others and I keep shuffling the bags around because I do like to put my round diamonds in front of my square diamonds it's just the way I've always done it so it's the way that's sort of ingrained in me that my rounds are first followed by my squares but again, some people will have different boxes for each, one for rounds and one for squares. Some people only do rounds or only do squares and therefore they don't need the, the second set. Um, you just need to do what works for you. I've got little plasticky bits coming off the backs. There we go. Okay, so look at that. So this one is part done, but look how pretty that stands up compared to this side that has got, you know, 939, both rounds bursting at the seams. 977, look, there's not a lot of them, but they have to be sort of done like that to go flatter. And then as soon as you stand them up, they all bunch at the bottom. So it's going to be really nice to sort of get across the next lot and um, somebody did mention because I do have the like there is a slight gap between these um, I've put in a third piece of foam boarding just to help them to squash up you know so that I can fill that tiny tiny little gap and um, so I might do that when I'm done when I see how many um, but thank you so much for the suggestion I think I probably will put another piece of thin foam board in down down one of these sides um, just to help them stand up like soldiers because if I get hold of that because that's going to fall otherwise can I do it <coughs> look how pretty that is see look done compared to not done you can see it's just so much nicer okay so I have a few diamond bags left from that let me grab a couple more of the full packs just to hopefully in fact maybe if I line them flat that would be better there we go just to help keep those ones stood upright until I get to do this next row and we'll see how much further over it goes um, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get into two boxes because I have this whole row and I have a whole other box 
but I'll have a think what it is that I want to do, whether I want to move my specials and my ABs into here or not. I'll, I'll keep thinking about it as we're plodding on through. Um, but that is the second row done and made to look pretty. Um, I hope you'll join me next week when we'll get this box finished off um, before we start on the finale. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.